Thanks for watching, Brian. With the new year comes new trends in decorating around your home. And joining me this morning is Bridget Burns, owner of Blend Interior Design. So, Bridget, I was kind of surprised by the colors that are in this year. Yeah. More because they're a little more pastel. Mm -hmm. They kind of remind me of Easter, and those colors are <laughs> rose, quartz, and serenity. Yes. Yeah, this is a really exciting year this year. This is the first time ever Pantone has named two colors of the year. So we have rose quartz here, which is kind of soft and pastel, and it conveys very gentle tones that are kind of compassionate with a sense of composure. And then the serenity, um, which is just really weightless and airy, a feeling of restfulness and um, relaxation. So in terms of you know a particular style for people who are maybe moving into a new place, the nice thing is, is you can kind of grab and go. It doesn't have to be one style. You can put together everything you like into one. Yeah, this year we're seeing the curated look, which is really a collection of all the things that you love. I think we have an image um, that's showing kind of a mix of um, rustic shiplap and um, metal, industrial metal mantle, really Some tailored. Leather, leather, pop of color. Pop of color, glammy nightstand. Just really a collection of all things you love. So we're going to move over to fur, which I love this year. Yeah. And that's kind of something that's in this year uh, are these statement pieces and you can kind of accent with fur. Absolutely. Think of fur in any place, in a stool, in a pillow, a throw, even rugs frames, wherever you can find a fun place to add some fur, just some good things that you can really snuggle up to. And Can you have with. too much fur though? Oh, never. Really? Never. No, no, of course not. Not even with a rug <laughs> and a blanket and a pillow? Well, maybe keep it balanced <laughs> with your colors. Don't go too crazy. So if someone was going to buy one statement fur piece, what would you recommend? I have a fur blanket. I'm looking for a rug right now. I think a, th a pillow is just a really easy, can go anywhere. So I don't think you can go wrong with a toss pillow. So if you have something that that's kind of on trend for 2015, what should you maybe replace it for 2016? Um, well, you know, I would say that our um, colored accent walls, just your plain paint, is probably time to go and can be replaced with a really fun wallpaper. There's so many on the market, they just add a lot of personality. Accent walls are out, I'm so disappointed because I only have accent walls in my home right now, including well, in my bedroom and my bathroom. Now you can So what would you up. recommend? So adding a wallpaper? <laughs> adding a wallpaper, replacing it with just some fun, loud, bold. So what is this we're seeing on screen right now uh, behind the couch? That is a wallpaper that's kind of a fun black and white uh, cityscape. Um, just really playful. It was done in a playroom. Um, so just add some personality and character to that room. I mean, come on, look at that fox. Isn't he adorable? Yes, that is so precious. Great for a baby room. If, if someone maybe is getting ready to welcome a new addition into their home, is wallpaper the way to go? Absolutely. You can't, you could put it really in any room, in a, in a nursery, in a bathroom, master headboard wall, um, wherever you can find a spot for it. Well, Bridget, thank you for joining us this morning. And Matt, I mean, I know you're, you're doing a lot of decorating right now and you're a little cold today. You could really use this fur blanket. <laughs> 2016 might be the year to give your home a makeover, but when it comes to trends, you might not know where to start. And to help us with all of that, we have Bridget Burns from Blend Interior Designs. We're going to talk about what's hot and what's not in 2016. So we've got some color schemes for people because these pastels are in this year. Yeah, so in past years we used to see some really bold, dark, um, kind of musty kind of colors. And this year we're seeing really light and airy and pastels. It's really all about finding like peace and tranquility this year. So we have rose quartz and serenity are the two colors that uh, Pantone yes. color of the year. It's really kind of fun fact is the first year that Pantone has ever named two colors. The Why color do you think the they year. went with two? I don't know. What? <laughs> They're just shaking it up, I guess. I don't know. So <laughs> another thing is matchy matchy. No more. No you can more. kind of mix and match. Yes, absolutely. In past years, we used to see like maybe matching sofas, everything very um, kind of coordinating. And this year, it's really about finding all of the pieces that you love and combining them um, in a way that's kind of eclectic. Think rustic woods with maybe glossy chandeliers um, and really just things that you love and are important to you in your life. So if someone could maybe pick one thing in terms of style to add in their home, what would you recommend? This year we're going to see a lot of fur. Think fun, fluffy, cozy. Again, finding that kind of tranquility and peace and snuggling up to something 
warm and soft. So in terms of fur, like if someone wanted to buy one piece of fur for their living room, what would you recommend adding? I think the easiest thing to always add to really any room would be a toss pillow. Something like this pillow here is just super snuggly, you can cozy up a with it. A statement piece for your couch maybe. Yeah, anywhere, couch, chair, even a bed. Okay, yeah. so you, you showed us some pictures and we have them that we'd like to show you. So this is a living room and what kind of style in 2016 does this incorporate? So this really is like no one style. It's not mid-century modern or um, any particular style. This is that curated look, the collecting of many different finishes. So we've got kind of mixed metals, texture, glossy, end tables that are kind of glammy and it's just that collection again of all the things that we love. And really quickly, wallpaper is in this year. Accent walls are out, which yes. is not good for me because I have all <laughs> accent walls it's in my great condo. It's for you because now you can replace it with a really fun wallpaper. Check these out. Look at this. You have so many colors that you can incorporate with that. In this room here, we've got a kind of a fun, just black and white landscape, so you could pop with any kind of accent color with that. And my gosh, look at that Mr. Fox. Isn't he adorable? What does the fox say? It looks great. <laughs> all right, Bridget, thank you for joining us thank this morning. You. Thank you for all of your ideas. So thank you. Matt and Jason and Kim, if you guys need to cozy on up to a blanket this morning, because that's what we all need, because it it's a chilly morning.